So here we go then, the best mashed potatoes ever. Now if you've ever done your own mashed potatoes, I'm sure you know what you do. You peel them, you chop them, you whack them in water, you boil them, drain them and mash them. Well, for mashed potatoes, water is your enemy. Yes, because once you've peeled them, they'll start to absorb a bit of the water. That's why your mash is a bit stodgy. And then you've got to start adding things like cheese. Cheesy mash is nice, by the way. But you add that to like bulk it out and make it a bit more firm again. So what we're going to do is we're cooking them in the skins. The best way to make mashed potato. Now, I'm air frying them. So all I'm going to do is rub a bit of oil over them and whack them in the air fryer. I'm going to do half an hour on 180 and then I'm going to whack it up to full and I'll come back and I'll tell you after how long it's took to get them soft enough to go on to the next stage but you can do these in the oven if you want obviously it's going to take longer when you do your jacket spuds you know that and you can boil them in the skins because the skins are protecting the flesh inside from the water so it does work the same but you do have to be careful that if they're slightly overcooked when you're boiling them the skins will split and the water gets in again so air fry or oven that's the best way make your jacket spuds and then we'll move on to the next stage i'm just going to put a bit of oil onto these so just a, a small smidgen of oil, you don't need much as you know with an air fryer. And then all you do, just rub it over them. No need to pierce them when you're air frying because it's they're not going to explode like they do when you pressure cook them. And spuds nowadays, they're not as good as they used to be, are they? There's all like, bits over them and everything. They're just I think they just chuck any old stuff in now to save money at the supermarkets, but there you go. Right, bit of oil on them. I'm going to whack them in 180 for half an hour and then I'll whack it up to full to 200 I think is ours on the maximum on the air fryer and I'll tell you how long it took to get them to what we want on the next stage. I'll see you in a mo. So half an hour at 180 and then half an hour at 200 and crispy skins. And soft centers hopefully so what you need to do you can use a tea towel I'm just going to use these uh, tongs cut them in half oh, look at that. and then once we've done all these you've guessed it we're gonna scoop the flesh out so I'm gonna cut all of these in half and then we'll get the flesh out and there we have it all done, all open, ready for getting the flesh out. Again, if you missed it, half an hour at 180 and half an hour at 200 degrees, that is in the air fryer. If you're doing them in the oven, then just cook them your normal way that you cook jacket spuds in the oven. But they go, look, oh, just firm. It's a firmer texture than when you're peeling them and boiling them in water. So what we need to do now is scoop all of this out. You will need to hold something unless you've got asbestos hands, which I'm okay with. Scoop this out into a bowl. It does come out really easy. Look, just, just scoop it. Let's get this into a bowl. Don't worry, we're not wasting the skins. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those as well in a bit. There you have it. There's the flesh. There's the skins. Now, I have done a video before about filled potato skins. That is not what I'm doing with these this time. I'm going to try something a little bit different with them. But... Do check out the video of the filled potato skins. It's going to pop up top right hand corner of your screen. Don't watch it now, obviously. Watch this to the end. And then go back and watch that one. Because they were so nice. Filled potato skins. But I'm going to try something a bit different with these. Back to the mashed spuds. So there's your potatoes. Look, it's just it's a firmer texture because they've not absorbed any water. So what we need to add to that first is that a good wedge of butter butter and spuds goes together and then some salt to taste obviously with a squeaky grinder a little bit of pepper which is not freshly ground because I've run out of peppercorns and then optional but I just think it just has a nice twist just a little sprinkling not too much garlic granules and a little sprinkling of dill. Dill goes really nice with potatoes. 
Not too much on the dill. And that's it. Now those two are optional, the garlic granules and the dill. Just if you want butter, salt, bit of pepper and mash it away. And that's what's left for me to do, mashing away. You can add a drop of milk if you want. I'm going to do it with just the butter first and then see the consistency. Because once you put the milk in, you can't take it out. So let's get this mashed. And that's it. Look, consistency wise, it's, it's just so much better. Because it's not absorbed any water. You've got the texture and the taste of the potatoes and not, not watered down mushy. Now, that, I would say add a tad of milk to that. Let's try it though. You have to try it first. <laughs> I love my spuds. Right, a dash of milk. Literally, that's it. Now, you can mix that in with a fork. I think there are two camps when it comes to mashed potatoes. There are those that like it slightly that lumpy, rough, rustic. And there are those that like it really smooth. So you can almost pipe it out. I am normally in the first camp that I like. I like a bit of texture there as well. But for the purposes of this video, I put a dash in because what I'm going to do now is I'm not mashing it anymore. No, I'm using that. A whisk. Yeah, I'm going to whisk this up and just watch the difference that this makes to the texture. And that's it, look. You can see, look how it's, it's just forming into one big mass that you can then just spoon onto your plate and you have got creamy mash. Just look at that. And that tastes so nice. And it tastes so nice because you're tasting the potato, not the water that's absorbent. So it's, look, it's just so creamy. And so much texture in there. Mmm. -hmm. And it just tastes so much better, really does. Do your potatoes this way, your mash. The best mash ever. Trust me. I'm a doctor. No, I'm not. But trust me, it'll work. You want to do your mash this way from now on because you won't believe the difference in the taste and the texture. It's just, and you can add your own things to it. Sky's the limit. I'll put a bit of dill. You can put a bit of parsley in there, a bit of cheese in there. Just anything you want to add to your mashed spuds, a bit of bacon. Oh yes, nice bit of smoked bacon, really finely chopped and mixed in there. And oh, look, look at that. Obviously, don't do this probably in a way, but um, you, you can just see it's not very little sticking to my finger look, because of the texture. Banging. Now, on to the next. Potato skins, what are you going to do with these? Kitchen scissors. Just cut them into strips. So I'm going to do all of these and then I'll be back. So, all sliced up and you can guess what I'm going to do here, can't you? In the bowl, obviously. Just another smidgen of oil. Well, you know you don't need much in the air fryer. You could do these again in the oven, but give them a good mix. And then, again, the world's your oyster. You've got to like oysters, ain't you? Because you put your own spices on. What I'm going to do is I am going to add some smoked paprika because I love it. And I'm going to add some chilli powder, because I love it. And I'm going to add some garlic granules, because I love it. And then, just give them a good mix up. And just another squib of oil. To make sure the spices don't dry it out too much. I'm going to whack these in the air fryer, full blast, which is 200 I think on ours, just 204 or something like that. Might be 220, I don't know, but whatever your full blast is. And I'm going to whack them in for, ooh, 10 minutes and let's see what they're like. And there you have it. They actually only took six minutes. Six minutes in the air fryer, a full whack. Obviously keep giving the basket a shake so that they don't sit on top, some of them, and burn. 
And that's it, look, you've got a nice, crispy, can you hear that? Healthy snack. Again, put whatever coatings you want on them. Uh, you can buy tubs of ready-made stuff. We've got Creole seasoning and all sorts of stuff up there, Cajun. I went for chilli, garlic, and, ooh. Mmm, smoked paprika as well. Obviously a bit of salt, I did put that on, uh, but you can put a bit of salt if you want. I have noticed that I recorded that bit before this with the mashed spuds without the above light on, so I hope it wasn't too dark for you. These cracking, cracking beer snacks. Thumbs up on this video if you've liked it. If you've not, lie about it, give us a thumbs up anyway. Do try the mashed potatoes. Do try these. But the mash is just so much better because you're leaving the skins on and then scooping the flesh out and it's just a lot better tasting, texture. Drop your comments in below. Are you going to try the mash or these? And subscribe if you just found us. It's free. And don't forget, subscribe to our other channel. Link will be below this video. I said that on the last one. I forgot to put it on so it was late going on. But the link will be on there. And if you didn't know, that channel is about our two pups and you're going to grow with them. We're going to show you videos of them messing about, day trips, etc. One is a little patted out terrier and the other is going to be like an elephant. He's a cane corso. Ooh, they're going to have some fun when they're fully grown and we'll see you on another one. Ta-ta.